if you guys enjoy Oculus Quest 2 content or Zenith content, then subscribe to this channel as we continually make videos on both. Hello and welcome back to Quest World. Today we are going to be covering a township tale a bit better, and I'll bring you 10 things that you should know about the game before we start playing the game. And this will vary from facts about the creators of the game and also from information that I got through personally talking to one of the moderators of the Discord. So without any further ado, let's log into the video. To start with our number one item on today's list, We'll just get the basics out of the way. The game came out on January 22nd, 2016. It was made for PC by Alta VR, and it was made to be an open world sandbox social VR multiplayer experience. Moving on to number two on the list. We're going to be talking about the different job classes that you can take up in the game. And those are a blacksmith, a miner, a woodcutter, warrior or archer number three on the list so if you pre-order the game you can get a few extra things and it will also be available two days earlier they pushed the date a little bit originally telling us it was going to be the 10th now they're telling us it's going to be the 15th and the pre-order will get you access on the 13th an exclusive outfit a tool belt and some 1000 of the uh, in-game currency number four there is lots of character customization, and after I did some more research on this game, looking through the Discord, the various social media sites that they have online, and through their own website, yeah, after looking at a lot of that stuff, I found out that they have one of the better character customizations in a lot of the VR MMOs or VR uh, RPGs, if you will. They allow you to basically paint just about anything as far as the skins are concerned and they give you a lot more uh, character customization as far as um, physical features and stuff like that. Number five, the game was originally meant to be free um, and even on their website it states in the uh, character customization category it states that the game was originally meant to be free and would always be free but that has recently changed obviously for the oculus quest it's going to be ten dollars and the idea was that they would just charge for cosmetics if you have played anything like um dauntless then it would be something kind of like that where you just play the free game and then you buy a lot of cosmetics for your character and that paid for the game but through talking with the dev, I actually found out the reason that they are changing the way that is is because the game requires a server for each person to play on. So that kind of, that $10 is kind of just paying for all the servers because of the massive influx of Oculus Quest 2 users that will be on the format. Number six, the Discord. If you haven't used Discord for anything yet, it's definitely a tool that I like to have for all of my VR games, if for nothing else, because a lot of the stuff is still in development and it gives me a heads up. So if you're not a part of any of the Discords from um, A Township Tale to Zenith to even Red Devil Studios, it's just a really good way to get information and it's kind of like an information index sometimes with a lot of these different VR MMOs. Number seven, getting into something a bit more interesting, we're going to be talking about the weapons. And the weapons are tools in this game. They're tools used in combat. That is kind of the descriptor given. And they have everything from bows, shields, slingshots, dynamite, swords, crystal weapons, axes, knuckles, throwing knives, and a bunch of more different things. Additionally, your weapon is customizable to the degree that you're going to actually be crafting your own weapon and customizing it. So I'm really kind of wondering if we're all going to get a Thor feel where we get kind of attached to the weapons we create in the game. Number eight. We're going to be talking once more a little bit about the um, roles or the job classes. When you hear blacksmith, miner, woodcutter, warrior or archer you're thinking maybe that that's the class you pick and you just unlock all the archer skills and you can only play as an archer from now on 
That is not true. Rolls are skill trees to upgrade. That's kind of how the game is meant to be. So you can mix up being a blacksmith with a miner and a woodcutter, and it's probably better to try to become some kind of jack of all trades for the game, but we will see next week. Number nine. Housing is going to be a new feature coming after the quest release. At some point, they want to give us customizable, buildable houses that each player can basically buy and upgrade throughout their journey in the Township Tale game. You're kind of meant to just take up a role of a character in town and play the crap out of that role and enjoy it. So buying a house within the town would really help sell the feel that you're one of the um, civilians that lives within that town. Number 10. As a last quick kind of fact, we're going to let you know that this is not a massive multiplayer in the way that Zenith would be or in the way that your typical MMO is. It is going to allow you to play with a party of up to eight people. I've heard some people say that it gets lonely playing just by themselves because remember this game has been available to other people for quite a while and they've said that playing alone can be boring but honestly i'm looking forward to the ability to either solo this game or play it with other quest users because most of my friends are quest users right now and we like to find games that we can party up in and this really is seeming like it's going to replace a lot of our 2d um, flat screen games that we played together back in the day as our new MMO alongside Zenith and a few others. If you have any more information about the game and maybe you've played the game or maybe you're on the Discord as well and you've got some information that we didn't have in this video and you'd like to share it or maybe I didn't get some information exactly right and you know a better way to put it, go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. Those are 10 things I wanted you guys to know about this game before purchasing it, and honestly, I think everyone's probably going to end up purchasing this, especially if you've already played like Orbis or something, because it is a step in the right direction with a lot of the MMO feels that it's giving. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video and found it informative, but if you want to join the conversation, then come on over to our Discord, Facebook, or Patreon. Thank you for watching, and please keep watching, guys.